thinking of Rue yes. with that flashlight. You know, as that severe storm rolled through us, look at some other video that people sent to us. And theirs was kind of a little bit more serious, right? A funnel mm -hmm. cloud forming in wow. Middletown, Ohio, near Cincinnati. So, Maddie, explain this process to us because sometimes, you know, the, the videos, you see that funnel cloud coming down and then going back up, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, is it going to come back down again? So much of it has to do with the winds, the wind mm -hmm. shear, the warm air. It's actually called tornado genesis. You can Google it. It's a very interesting process. But yes, storms like what we had yesterday do have the capability of pulsing, which means that we can see a funnel cloud form and then all of a sudden it can get sucked back up. It all really has mm -hmm. to depend on the amount of energy and then that wind, if we can actually see that make it to the ground. Now, interestingly enough, we all also got some viewer photos sent in here locally. Uh, Ross Caruso was working really hard yesterday alongside Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz of tracking those storms yesterday. And take a look at some of the viewer photos we gathered here from Commercial Point. Uh, you can see uh, easily pick out a funnel cloud here uh, that was out towards Commercial Point. And uh, what I was doing yesterday during the storms, I was just tracking the storms in my house on my phone. And what I was able to capture is something pretty interesting interesting. Now this is of course if you're a little weather nerd and you want to look a little dive a little bit closer into the storm this is the correlation coefficient. In layman's terms it means the debris tracker and where we did have both of those tornado warnings yesterday right along where we have the commercial point I was able to pick up here where we could have seen potentially that debris ball which would have been or could have been either flying trees or unfortunately those flying objects like the trailer. So so that is just something that the National Weather Service, they all have this data, they have this correlation coefficient. They will be reviewing this as they get on the ground. And again, the only way to confirm that a tornado actually touched down is for the National Weather Service to survey that damage. So they have to get boots on the ground, look at the damage to confirm whether or not it was a tornado. Because believe it or not, tornadoes and then straight line damaging winds do produce different types of damage. Maybe one of the days that I have more time I'll explain that, but that is something that they will be looking at there where Amy is live at this morning. Out there currently, we've got some leftover clouds, temperatures in the 40s. We're looking at 43 degrees, a northwest wind, 18, so it is a little bit still breezy on the back side of the system. Today's forecast does feature lots of clouds to start, but by the afternoon, we'll see plenty of sunshine. Look for high temperatures today to be in the upper 40s to the lower 50s. Again, satellite and radar picture shows that system moving on out of here. Good Goodbye. We don't want you anymore. We do have some clouds still lingering here across the state of Ohio, but we will have increasing sunshine, decreasing clouds from west to east. And it, again, if you're a weather nerd like me, if you look up around like one o'clock or so, you'll watch those clouds kind of move on out of here and we'll see increasing sunshine for the day today. Out to our south, can't see much here. There's an area of low pressure in Texas that'll form. That'll lead to some showers and storms, the potential for that Wednesday. And then our next big weather maker that I am tracking is getting its act together across the Rocky Mountains right now. This storm system will likely bring us some widespread rain on Friday, and it could even slight chance, but it could even give us a little bit of snow action as we go through late on Friday, heading into early on Saturday. Now, again, for today, much quieter as the Weather Service goes out and surveys some of those damaged sites for the day today. It's nice to see that they'll have some sunshine breakout too so that they can survey it in the best way that they can. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s this afternoon, still kind of chilly. And then as we go through tonight, mostly clear skies heading towards tomorrow. This is where we see that slight chance of maybe a light rain shower early tomorrow morning across our northern locations. It's tomorrow evening. Those winds pick up. Temperatures soar to the upper 60s to low 70s. So another prime atmosphere for tomorrow uh, for some storms. And if we do get some storms, it looks like late in the evening for Wednesday, we have that possibility. At this time, we're not expecting severe weather, though, from any of the storms that roll through on Wednesday. Time now for your 10-day forecast. And again, we're forecasting a high tomorrow of 68 degrees. The old record in Columbus is 65. So if we hit 68 tomorrow, we will shatter that record that was set back in 1997. 
50s on Thursday, then we'll be in the 40s for Friday. Will it be cold enough for snow? That is the big question at this time. Looks like it should be mostly a rain event for us on Friday, but we will be monitoring that area of low pressure as it interacts over the Rocky Mountain West as we go through the next couple of days.